Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to talk about all the different Arduino boards and how to choose one for your projects. So, in the beginning, there was the Uno. Yeah, I know there were a couple boards before that, but they don't really count. In the beginning, there was the Uno. Actually, it was that one with the uh, dip package. The SMD version didn't come out until later. Then we also have the Mega. And then we have the Nano. And the Pro Micro. And the Leonardo. And the Due. And the 101. And the Zero. And then if we start adding in the ESP8266 stuff, we've got the full size Wemos, the Mini Wemos, um, Adafruits, Feather Series. And now we've got. ESP32s. How's a growing boy supposed to decide which board he needs to use for a project? Well, I'm guessing the way we're going to start is by determining the voltage needed. Some of these boards are 5 volt, some of them are 3.3. So, if you are using anything that is incompatible with 5 volts, then you can eliminate the Unos, the Megas, the Nanos, the Pro Micros, and what you're left with uh, is the Leonardo, the Pro Mini, the 101, the Zero, and your ESP stuff. But we'll come back to that. Let's restack our supply of Arduino boards here. So I think that has to be our primary concern is the voltage. After that, let's talk about form factor. I think we can divide the boards into three separate form factors. Again, we'll start with the Uno, which we will call the medium form factor. The full-size Wemos goes to the medium form factor as well, and the 32, Wemos 32. Then we have the large form factor, which would be the Mega and the Leonardo. Then we have the small, the Adafruit Feather, ESP32s, D1 Minis, and the Nanos. And I guess we could have one more group we call the extra smalls, the Pro Micro and the Pro Mini. So first we'll start by voltage, and then we'll go by board size. And then once we know what board size we want, if we're dealing with the large or the mediums, um, you've got to know that they're not going to be breadboard friendly. I mean, yeah, they do have mounting holes. You could, you know, put some screws in there, but... So that drops us down to the smalls and the extra smalls if you need a breadboard friendly device. Next up, memory. How big of a program are you going to write? Because these all have vastly different amounts of memory. The um, smallest is the Uno and the Nano and the largest I believe is the Mega yeah and then these all fall somewhere in between and then our last concern well it's not really our last concern but our next concern will be the number of pins we need and we have to take into account analog pins and digital pins so let's start by considering analog pins if you need more than one the Wemos the ESP8266 they're out because they only have one digital pin yes you can add a multiplexer but we're not getting into that we're, we're, we're picking 
what board we want to use for the project to make things easy for ourselves. Okay, so next up, do we need an average number of pins, you know, say the 6 and 20 found on an Uno, or the 8 and 20 found on a Nano. How many is on a Pro, Pro Micro, or Pro Mini, Pro Micro? 12 and 20. Or do we need massive numbers like the Mega and the Yoon? And from there, we just need to decide do we need high processor speed or the standard 16 megahertz? Because there's a difference there as well. You know, the Uno, the Nano, the Mega, the Leonardo, the Pro Micro all run at 16 megahertz. The Yoon runs at 16 megahertz as well. And the fastest Arduino board are the Due and the Zero at 84 megahertz. And the ESP8266 comes in at, what, 80 megahertz as well, I think? Yeah, 80 megahertz as well. So now we've got all that figured out. How are we going to power our project? Are we going to power it from the mains or do we want to have it battery powered? Now I tested the boards that I have here available. So I don't have the current use power usage, power consumption for all of the boards. So let's just talk about the ones that I have available. So I wrote a sketch using the DHT tester uh, example from the DHT library and outputted the result every two seconds to the OLED screen. And here are my results in power consumption. The lowest is the Pro Micro at 145 milliwatts. Next is the Nano at 179 milliwatts. Followed by the Mega 408, the ESP8266 at 561, and coming in on top, the Uno at 734 megawatts. So that'll give you an idea of current consumption if you intend to power it from a battery. I hope this gives you guys a guide to choosing from the unbelievable number of boards that are available to us for all of our projects and you know this is just a small sampling all right if you guys like this give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe that's it i'm out peace